Today we share the story of four mischievous friends who came to college just to bunk classes. Oh man, can you imagine? This is the last year of our college. I miss this college already. Hmm, but you can't fail the exam just to stay back, right? But I guess these 5 years have been unforgettable for us. And now, guess what? We will be remembered by our teachers and our juniors. Girls, I think we should make this last year memorable as well. But what can we do? The four girls became obsessed with their thoughts and planned to do something unique that would astonish the entire college. Please girls, don't again come up with the lame idea of puncturing the bikes. But keep in mind, our campus is wired with CCTV. So whatever we do, we have to execute it in a place where no one can see us. And we will never be caught. Right and then we can keep having fun for the rest of the year. Yes, mischief managed gang will live long. 3 cheers. After a few days, Saku Bai, the college janitor, arrives to work as usual, wearing her goggles and holding a wet mop while listening to music. Saku Bai was cleaning the floor to the beats of hip hop music when her gaze was drawn to the large mirror in the washroom. Oh my god. These girls have made a graffiti out here. The large mirror was covered in lipstick stains as if it had been the victim of several slobbery smacking kisses. Saku bai couldn't believe her eyes. This must be the work of our college Paris Hiltons. Instead of spending time with their boyfriends, they tattoo their lipstick stains on a mirror. Jeez, what a waste of time. Saku bai tries to remove the stains with her wet cloth. instead of cleaning it kept getting smudged even more and she was not able to clean it oh god it's getting messier what should i do now god let's try the soapy water saku bai uses soapy water to clean the stain away and after much efforts they were erased but saku bai was sweating like she joined a zumba class rotten luck sheesh the stains are gone i forgot to take a snap of it even on the next day it was the same sight when saku bai arrives to clean the washroom she notices that the mirror is once again covered with lipstick stains seeing this saku bai not again who has the time in the world to kiss a mirror i can use these stains to create an entire lipstick they could just give a lipstick to a poor woman like me saku bai still cleans those lipstick stain with soapy water But before that she takes a selfie with those stains. Aha! Uh-huh. Now that's a snap. Let me just post this on Instagram. Saku bai posted the selfie right away on Instagram with the hashtag stain is pain. Oh chuck, look at this. Saku bai selfie. Oh my god. This is a washroom's mirror, right? Yes, I'm not sure, but someone has been kissing it and leaving lipstick marks on it. Someone seems to hate the lipstick her boyfriend got for her. Preeti, Bela, Kajal and Sapna were thrilled just as the college was bustling with the gossip of secret kisser. That was a great deal of fun. Lipstick stains seem to be trendy in college. Yes, but we must take caution from now on. Yes, we must work on this mischief throughout the year. The four friends were very happy with their activities. The suspense and the curiosity of lipstick stains started spreading among friends. I think that our washroom is haunted. Stop this rubbish. There are no such thing as ghost. So, why didn't you use the restroom yesterday? That that actually I wasn't I wasn't in the mood. I guess this might be a prank. Saku bai visits the principal one day after becoming frustrated with constantly removing lipstick marks. Madam, I can't work here anymore. Saku bai, what happened? Hmm? What is it now? Why can't you work? Ma'am, I think there is a ghost living in the ladies room. After hearing Saku bai, the principal becomes enraged. Don't say anything stupid. Did you see there anyone? Hell no. I can't die this soon. I have to count the stars in the sky. 
Stop making stuff up and tell me exactly what happened. Sakubai now informs the principal the entire 12 to 15 days of drama that has occurred. Oh, so here's the deal. But why hasn't a single student complained about it? How would I know, ma'am? Please allow me to leave. No, no, hold on. Why you always have an excuse to leave? No, madam. Those lipstick stains are so difficult to remove that I have become drained. I also lost 5 kgs. I am at my limit now. On the other hand, principal tries to persuade Sakubai to resume her job. I promise you, Sakubai, that I will solve this problem in following two days. Alright? Yes. Alright, ma'am. I don't care if you call CID or the magician. Do whatever you want, but I won't be staying for more than two days, as I said before. Principal questions Sakubai and then ask her to leave. Hmm, by hook or crook, this problem must be solved in two days. While the principal was investigating the issue, the mischief managed took advantage of the rumors. I think there is a witch in our washroom. What do you guys think? That day, I heard sound of anklet. Really? Really? Oh my god, I'm not going to drink water. I'm considering switching college. The next day, Mischief Managed arrives at college earlier than expected. Kajal and Preeti keep an eye on it outside the washroom. Sapna and Bela put on lipstick and kiss in front of the mirror. They leave the restroom with a smile after filling the entire mirror. Bela, hurry up! Someone is on their way! Come on, people! After both the girls left, the principal comes out from the washroom. I see now. This task is being carried out by none other than our mischief managed. I had doubts about them before, but now they are confirmed. The following day, principal calls Bela. May I come in, ma'am? Please, come in, Bela. Please take a seat. How are your studies going? Yes, ma'am. It's going well. Strange rumors have been spreading about girls' restroom. Bella, do you have any idea? Bella is little nervous as a result of the unexpected question. Yes, I do have heard something. Have you noticed anything unusual when you are using the washroom? Yes, ma'am. I have also noticed some lipstick stains on the mirror. Bela responds to the principal's question with care. May I leave, ma'am? No, no. Wait a minute. I have something to show you. Sakubai and the office boy are called up by the principal. Sakubai arrives with a cloth and a bucket of dirty water. And the office boy arrives with the mirror full of lipstick stains and leaves. What is going on? Is she suspicious of our group? The principal asks Sakubai to clean the mirror. Sakubai, don't ask any question now and put on those gloves and clean those lipstick stains. Sakubai and Bela are taken aback after hearing the principal. Yes, ma'am. It seems like madam lost her mind that she's asking me to clean with dirty water. Anyone in the cabin couldn't bear the odor of water. Bela's confusion becomes even greater. Oh, what's going on here? Ma'am, you are cleaning mirror with unclean water? Nobody is going to touch it now. It seems like the project have to be aborted. Sakubai laboriously scrubs the mirror. Take this ma'am. The mirror has been cleaned. Should I ask the office boy to place the mirror in the washroom? Yes. Tell him. Now you can go. Sakubai walks away with all the cleaning materials and then the office boy arrives and takes the dirty water stained mirror. Bela wondered why dirty water was used to clean the mirror in the cabin. But for fear of being discovered, she remains silent. Ma'am, may I also leave? Bella, as a senior at our college, I'd like you to explain the other college girls how difficult it is to remove the lipstick stains and how much of Sakubai's time is being wasted on this. Okay, ma'am. And from now on, we will not spend water cleaning up lipstick stains. Please inform everyone of this. Okay, ma'am. Bela comes out of the cabin. Cross! 
Who will now kiss the dirty water cleansed mirror? Enough with the drama. Bella, I am confident that my aim was accurate. The lipstick ghost will not come tomorrow. Sakubai goes to clean the restroom as usual and is taken aback by the spotless mirror. Oh my! Miracle! Ma'am appears to have chased the ghost away. I am going to pray to God today. Sakubai happily rushes to the principal's cabin. What happened, Sakubai? Did you forget to get permission to enter the cabin today? Ma'am, please ignore the permission and everything else. I am really happy today. Why? What happened? Did the lipstick ghost of the restroom flee? Sakubai is taken aback by the principal's comments. Oh, how did you find it out? Did that ghost get your approval? The principal burst out of laughing. Yes. Now don't take leave in this excitement. And yes, also clean that mirror with clean water because that ghost will not come again. It was all the mystery to Sakubai. Looks like ma'am has seized the lipstick stalk of the ghost. The ghost can be scary, but our ma'am is more so. This is Pavan, a forest ranger who is going to Nilgiri forest today to take up his new duty. Pavan reached the Nilgiris and he slept in his quarters. The next morning he was going to a forest tour. Sir, I am Manoj. How are you Manoj? I am all right, sir. I would like to advise you to return to your quarters before the night falls. Yes, yes. I know there are wild animals in the forest. Don't worry. No, sir. There is something more dangerous in this forest than wild animals. For the time being, you will go on a tour, but I will explain everything. Pavan spent the entire day exploring the jungle. He also spotted many birds, monkeys and animals. The sun was setting. As Pavan began to return to his jeep, he was then suddenly attacked by a bat. Pavan bowed down and began running to save his life. He began running towards a house. Open the door. Please open the door. Help me, please. An old man opened the door. Hey, come inside. The old man gave water to Pavan. Was the vampire chasing you as well? Y yes, but how do you know? This is not a new thing. Has this ever happened before? Yes. 30 years ago, I settled here. It was winter at the time. A husband and wife were traveling through the forest in the car. This vampire hunted them down. They broke into their car. The husband and wife fled to save their lives. The next morning, their bodies were found on the riverside. How can a bat survive for 30 years? Don't know how, but just a year ago something strange happened. A boy from a city came here in the forest. He was taking picture of birds in the camera. And in the evening, after some times, the vampire attacked him. The city boy kept on running, kept on running. And his body was found the next day. Didn't the police investigate this case? What can the police and forest rangers do? This is not something that can be handled by a human or animal. Still this should be investigated, right? Maybe we will get some clues. Only one thing was discovered during all the investigations. The vampire chases his target a lot. He keeps on chasing the target. And then no one knows what happens to them. No one knows about it. But uncle, you said you have been here for 30 years. So how do you live here alone? Please tell me. <laughs> because I am that vampire. Granny, Granny, today we like to hear a story. Tell us a ghost story, please. Okay, my Tinsy kids, today I'm going to tell you a terrifying horror story. The story is called The Last Wish. This is a story about a time when there was a giant 
banyan tree in one village and a witch lived on it her last desire was to wed sam a wealthy businessman and live with him as his devoted wife sam used to live in a sprawling villa with his mother megan and his gorgeous wife kesi the witch was obsessively waiting and watching for an opportunity i am sick of being alone on this crooked tree while sam his mother and his young lady love live in such a luxury seeing his family raises my blood levels what is about this dumb young girl sam picked to be his bride i am not inferior to anyone even if i have beauty intellect and everything great look at me i appear like an angel nonetheless sam's family is really proud of themselves i have to break their pride after all it is only fair that my last wish is fulfilled the wish to be sam's wife then someone will call me a wifey as well kesi go quickly and bring penny back from the pond near that jungle after you bring penny tie her up in the cow barn yes mom i'm going right now i have to finish my household work then i will bring penny no no kesi don't be late it's dusk already so before it is dark you have to bring penny back from the jungle all right kesi and whatever work is left i will pick it up but you shouldn't dilly dally any longer okay mom as you wish and listen kesi return home before it gets dark on the way there is a massive banyan tree with a strange vibe in it villagers say that there is a oh mom don't worry i'm not a child you just have to take care of the house i'll go and come back quickly but kesi listen to me for once oh okay fine kesi 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 wear your cross don't forget Kesi on other hand had forgotten to wear her cross that day and wandered into the jungle Penny oh Penny God knows where this mischievous cow went Kesi traveled deep within the forest calling for Penny She finally spotted her and she said to her Penny why are you in this place what are you eating here instead of lush grass Wait a minute While I take you to the cow barn, I'll teach you a lesson today. What if the Souza had noticed you? You can only imagine then. Just then, the witch saw Casey, and just like that, what more was left to see? Oh, Arre, look! Wo dekho. Who is coming? Casey is, is your Casey, and she is coming this Agar way. If I use my magic and make her disappear from the face of the earth, then no one will ever come to know about it. And why should I leave this opportunity? This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. This is a good chance. I will bind her with my magic. Just then the witch changed her appearance into an old lady and she stood in the middle of the road. Hey, who's that going on the road? You are Sam Fernandez's wife. Am I right? Yes, auntie, but I couldn't quite recognize you. I am from Gomez's family. Hmm. Yes, I see. I just understood. But what are you doing here at this hour of the night? I've heard bad things about this place. Don't you feel scared? Why will I get scared in my age? I am already in my 90s and now I am just counting my days. I have heard that a vicious and scary witch lives on that banyan tree. The moment she gets a chance, she uses it to cause harm to the people. I I think I should go now. All right, all right. You can go, but why don't you stay for some time more? Auntie, let me go now. It's getting scary here. The moment Kesey decided to walk back to her home, the old lady also comes along with her. Oh my child, why are you so scared? I'm here for you. 
Oh, yes. I just remembered. You were saying something about the witch. Am I right? Have you seen her? How does she look like? I have never seen her, but I've heard about a lot. She is extremely hideous and monstrous to look at. I have heard people who have laid their eyes on her, they pass out. <laughs> well said, Casey. So monstrous to look at. She is hideous. She is wretched. Isn't it? Can you take a look and tell me if the witch looks like this? <laughs> oh my! Someone please help me! As Casey starts running, just then the witch stretches her arm and drags Casey by her head towards herself. And then the witch with her magic transforms Casey into a small ball. She then hides her in a huge hollow of the tree. Who will come in the scary place of the jungle? Huh? Now stay prisoner of this tree for eternity. And on the other hand, I will put up a disguise as Casey. Mom, wh why are you crying? I'm right here. A actually, Penny ran away. Now, how can I beat Penny in racing? I don't have such strength against her. Oh, this Penny has grown so naughty. She made me run so much. The witch, in disguise of Casey, tells Megan, Mom, your son hasn't come home yet? Sam wouldn't come home tonight. He will return tomorrow. That's the news he has sent me. The moment Megan fell asleep, just then the witch took the form of Casey. With the help of her magic, she was able to complete all her household chores. No matter how difficult the chores were, may it be cooking or making flour, every work was done within a wink of an eye. The moment it was morning, Casey, you didn't light the oven up. When will you cook the food? Mom, the food was made long time ago. Huh? So early? Where did you get the wood for lighting the oven? There was no wood at home. Um, Mom, I went to jungle early in the morning and gathered wood for cooking. Don't worry, Mom. I even prepared food for you. Hmm, I am impressed. Since when did Casey become so nimble in her chores? Someone like her who takes two hours just to chop vegetables. She finished all her work before the crack of the dawn. And why did she not send any servant to gather wood? Hmm, something is fishy. The moment they sat to have their supper, Megan saw something absolutely uncanny. Casey is eating twice her usual servings. And she seems to be way too hungry than usual. But the way she has worked hard, it is only normal that she is this hungry. Casey, your soup is absolutely marvellous. If you could add a little dash of lime juice, it would have been perfect. Did you say lime? Wait, let me grab a lime for you. The moment she uttered these words, just then she extended her arm and her arm went out of the window. With one quick yank, Casey gave Megan a lime from her garden. Seeing this happening, Megan felt a cold shiver going down her spine. Oh my lord! What did I just see? What witchcraft is this? Is this really our Casey or some ghoul disguised as her? I should stay quiet for the time being and as soon as Sam comes back, I have to tell him everything. As soon as it was evening, Sam came back. He started calling his mother loudly. Mom, Mom. Sam, son, you have come back. Yes, Mom. But I can't hear Casey's voice. Where is she? Casey is in kitchen. But before that, I have something to tell you. What is it, Mom? Megan then takes Sam towards the kitchen. And there, they both see that Casey is sitting in the kitchen with both her legs inside the oven. Seeing this horrific sight, Sam and his mother both started trembling out of fear. Then Sam said, 
Now I understood everything mom this is not our Casey this is definitely a witch i am pretty sure that this witch had hid our kc somewhere in the woods that's why when i was coming back from the woods i felt like someone was calling out to me in kc's voice what is the solution for the sun you don't have to worry about a single thing mom i will find some way out of this mess i will go to a priest and we'll see what happens next if we delay any further we might not be able to save kc Sam went to a priest and he tells him Priest I need your help I am in deep trouble Tell me son what is the trouble I am in deep trouble and to find a solution I have come to you can you please help me what kind of trouble what has happened tell me And on the other hand the witch started to question Mingan Mom I heard Sam's voice where did he go now who 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 Sa- Sam he went to call a physician he will come in a minute physician why who is sick Casey I-, I told you about my joint pain right N- nowadays the pain is excruciating that's why oh look there he has come in the name of father and the son and the holy spirit amen but he's not a doctor he's a priest ha 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 What is the use of a priest here? The priest has come to exorcise the demon out of you. Mom, what did I do? Tell him to go away right now. I cannot stand him. Please leave. Megan then went ahead and closed the door from within. I have heard that witches don't like good things. Then how can she like me coming here? Huh? Ha 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 ha. Just then, Casey's eyes turned red. and the priest started reciting his prayers i am kesi how can i be a witch why are you saying this what rubbish are you talking about to my family mom stop this man otherwise ha 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 i will teach you a lesson saying this the priest started reciting a prayer and sprinkled holy water on the witch As soon as he pours holy water on the witch just then a circle of fire erupts around her the witch finally reveals her true self she started painfully cackling oh is it so priest what made you think that i would get scared that easily so now watch my power now you will see who will make a run for it first Then a violent pitched battle ensued between the evil witch and the priest. In the end, the priest takes out his cross and shows it to the witch and recites a prayer. As he spoke the prayer, the witch immediately got trapped in the cage of fire. Then priest traps her in a vial and says, "Now tell us what is the purpose for coming here?" "I am a witch. I thought by becoming Sam's wife, I would be happy." I am going to show you happiness. Now that priest again chanted some hymns, but now which was begging for her life. Leave me, I said, leave me. Was tell me where is Casey? Otherwise, I will not set you free. All right, all right. I am telling you, I have hidden Casey in the hollow of a huge banyan tree in the jungle. But promise me that you will never come back here again. I promise you that when I leave I will break the branch of the breech tree that's standing right behind your house because of which Casey will be set free from my spell and then I will leave this place forever. But before that bring back our Casey here and only after then you can leave this village and never come back. Ha 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 ha. As soon as the priest started chanting the spells the witch with her magic spell brings back Casey she brings Casey back to her previous form and handed her over to her family she said here is your Casey now set me free set me free oh yes 
before you leave don't forget to break the branch of the breech tree if there is any mistake then it won't be good for you is that clear saying this the witch really flees and she never returns to that village ever again right in front of everyone's eyes sam's business started multiplying in double and triple folds and in this way sam his mother and his wife lived happily ever after Mitali hey Mitali wake up quickly we we have to spend tonight either in a guest house or a hotel our car is damaged without a mechanic it won't get fixed any time soon like always Mitali woke up fumbling Ayush you can't get a single work done how many times did i tell you to sell this run down trash and get a second hand car yes yes princess we'll get it done but before that get your purse let's leave We need to make plans for now where we will stay the night. They left the winding wooded path then they arrived at the main highway. There sounds in the pitch black night added to the eeriness. Both of them kept walking for half an hour but they neither got any lift nor hotel. Where exactly in this eerily silent place did your dumb friend Mohan buy a farmhouse? Mitali hugged Ayush firmly because she was terrified of noises. At that time, Ayush smiled a bit, and soon a distant thunder was heard. As they continued traveling, they noticed an old mansion. There was no watchman at the mansion's gate. They both opened the gate and stood in front of the main door. There was an old rope dangling like a snake. in the place of the doorbell ayush pulled it twice or thrice however there was no ring from within everything was eerily silent mitali then raised her hand to knock on the door but before that they suddenly heard an absurd sound coming from inside they suddenly felt a little uneasy because they hadn't heard anything from within the mansion then they both opened the door and went inside Sir, we were driving few kilometers to visit my friend's farm house. But in the middle of the road, our car stopped working, and to ask for help, we don't have connectivity. Can we call from your phone, please, sir? The man sitting on the swing did not show any emotion. He said, "Surely do it. The phone is in the last room upstairs." Sir, my name is Ayush, and she is my wife Mitali. My name is Dada Pandit. I am the owner of this mansion. Ayush and Mitali were looking at the grandness of the mansion. Then their gaze fell on the biggest frame on the wall behind Dada Pandit which was totally empty. And everywhere in the house were the portraits of the family members. In every portrait one thing was common that nobody in the portrait was smiling. Every portrait was emotionless. Then Ayush and Mitali went upstairs. Then in the last room they tried to call Mohan from the landline even after trying so many times the phone was not connecting just then Mitali's attention went on a photo frame that was hanging on the wall there was no photo in it only an empty frame they found it a little odd then they both went down Ayush said to Dada Pandit we are unable to call anyone from your landline there are problems with the landline here You may try again or if you won't you can stay the night here Mitali and Ayush once again tried calling but to no avail 
In the end, they decided to stay the night there. Lying on the bed, they both fell asleep. At night, exactly at 1.30, Ayush opened his eyes. And he once again tried calling his friend. But at that time, phone was totally dead. While keeping the phone down, Ayush's eyes fell on the wall. In the previous empty frame, now they saw their own picture. And then he went speechless. And below, it was written their date of death. He instantly woke Mithali up and made her look at the picture. Then they both made a run from there. They dashed down through the stairs. While running, they heard the sound of the footsteps of another person running behind them. Now both of them were very terrified. Somehow they had to go out of the door. As they reached the door and tried to open it, they were unable to open. Because someone had locked the door from inside. Now they both are trapped inside the haunted mansion. Ayush and Mitali were banging on the door and a shiver ran through their spine. And they were in trap. They were shouting for help. At that time, light goes out in the mansion. Everywhere, there was grave silence. With trembling hands, Mitali turns on her mobile flash. As soon as she turned on the flashlight, her eyes fell on the biggest photo frame, which they had seen empty while entering the mansion. In that empty photo frame, which was of Dada Pandit sitting on the swing, was giving an evil grin. And in the next moment, Dada Pandit started disappearing from the photo frame. And the swing below it started moving without air. Seeing that terrific sight, Mitali lost all her senses. And after that, Ayush went speechless. After some moments, when the phone was switched off, Ayush and Mitali started hearing weird voices in chorus, loudly. And they were quite scary. One by one, all the voices started coming closer. And suddenly, a painful scream was heard in the mansion. Both of their photos hung along with the other photos in the mansion. And Dada Pandit, he was sitting on the swing, having a cigar, and he started waiting for another guest in the mansion.